Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're diving into something a bit different and something I've been eager to test for a while. We're going to explore just how well OpenSUSE Tumbleweed performs for gaming in 2025. If you're into Linux gaming, you've probably heard of popular distros like Nobara, Fedora or PapOS, but OpenSUSE Tumbleweed often flies under the radar when it comes to gaming, and I believe it deserves more attention. So, in today's video, I'll be testing 4 AAA games on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed with KDE Plasma, evaluating their performance, discussing the ease of setting up gaming on this distro and sharing my honest thoughts on whether it's a viable option for your Linux gaming setup. So, let's dive in. For those unfamiliar, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a rolling release Linux distribution. This means it continuously receives the latest software updates including new kernels, MESA drivers and gaming related packages. For gaming, having access to latest MESA drivers and kernel updates can make a significant difference, especially if you're using AMD hardware like I am. Tumbleweed is renowned for its stability despite being a rolling release, which is quite rare in Linux world. It utilizes the Zipper Package Manager and you get a clean polished KDE Plasma desktop experience right out of the box. And with that, let's talk about the system I used for these tests. It's not the absolute top tier system in 2025, but it's still a very capable setup for 1080p gaming. I also used MangoHood to monitor FPS, frame times and overall performance during each game session. If you're not familiar with MangoHood, it's an excellent performance overlay tool for Linux, essentially the Linux equivalent of MSI Afterburner for Windows. Before we delve into the game tests, let's briefly discuss setting up OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for gaming. Honestly, it was more straightforward than I anticipated. Thanks to the OpenSUSE community and official documentation, installing Steam and Lutris was a breeze. You just enable the appropriate repositories, install the package via zipper or discover app and you're good to go. I didn't use any third-party MESA repositories. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed already provides up-to-date MESA drivers out of the box, which worked perfectly for my setup. KDE Plasma 6 also deserves a mention here. It's lightweight, responsive and highly customizable. I didn't encounter any screen tearing or performance issues and the overall desktop experience felt as polished as any other modern Linux distro. Alright, now for the exciting part, let's talk about the games. First up, I tested Alan Wake 2. This game is known for its stunning visuals and heavy use of ray tracing, making it one of the most demanding titles released recently. On Windows, Alan Wake 2 can be quite taxing on hardware. However, on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed with Proton G10-3 and my AMD RX7600 XT, the game runs surprisingly well. At ultra settings with FSR, set to quality at 1080p resolution, I was getting between 80 and 90 FPS in most areas. In more intense scenes with dynamic lighting and volumetric effects, it dipped to around 70 FPS but it never felt sluggish. Proton G10-3 handled this game flawlessly. Mango Hood showed consistent frame pacing with no major frame time spikes. I was genuinely impressed with how OpenSUSE Tumbleweed handled this demanding title. Next up was Starfield. This game had a rough launch performance-wise on Windows, but it's improved significantly since then and runs well under Proton these days. Running at high settings at 1080p, I was getting between 100 and 140 FPS depending on the area. In open space, it hovered around 130-140 FPS. In more detailed areas, it averaged around 110 FPS. Proton G10-3 once again performed perfectly. I didn't experience any crashes or glitches during my PlayStation. The Vulkan translation was beneficial here as AMD cars leverage is effectively. Considering how finicky this game can be on Windows, it's a significant win for Linux gaming. Of course, I had to test Baldur's Gate 3. This game is a prime example of a well-optimized title on Linux, thanks to Larian's excellent implementation and official support. At ultra settings at 1080p resolution, I was getting between 90 and 110 FPS. In interior scenes and combat encounters, it leaned closer to 105 FPS. In large outdoor areas, it hovered around 95 FPS. There were no frame pacing issues and loading time were swift it genuinely feels like it was made for Linux. 
Lastly, I tested Expedition 33. This new title boosts impressive environmental detail and particle effects. On ultra settings at 1080p, I was averaging between 70 and 100 FPS. In open world exploration areas, it mostly stayed around 90 FPS. During intense combat sequence, it dropped between 75 and 80 FPS but remained stable. Proton G10-3 handled this game smoothly. No significant shader stutter which was a pleasant surprise for a newer graphically intense game. Another solid result for OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So, what's the verdict? Is OpenSUSE Tumbleweed a good distro for gaming in 2025? Honestly, yes, absolutely. I approached this test expecting potential challenges, perhaps driver issues or package conflicts, but encountered none. Everything installed cleanly, the latest MESA drivers were readily available through the official repositories and ProtonG worked flawlessly for every title I tested. KDE Plasma 6 also deserves praise. It's lightweight, responsive and highly customizable. I didn't experience any tearing or performance hitches and the overall desktop experience felt as polished as any other modern Linux distro. So, to sum it up, the pros are access to cutting edge updates thanks to the Ronin release model, excellent AMD GPU support with the latest MESA drivers, super stable even though it's a Ronin release, KDE Plasma runs beautifully, gaming performance on par with and in some cases better than other popular Linux distros. As for the cons, it may not be the best option for complete beginners compared to something like Nobara or Linux Mint. Certain niche games tools and third-party apps aren't always available in the official repositories, but you can almost always find them via community repos. If you're an AMD user seeking a rolling release distro with excellent gaming performance and a stable polished KDE experience, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is undoubtedly worth considering. I'm genuinely contemplating keeping it on my PC for a while longer to see how it handles upcoming releases this year. And that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let me know in the comments what's your favorite Linux distro for gaming. Would you give OpenSUSE a tumble with a shot? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.